What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go to press that like button for your boy. Go to press that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. Now, if you didn't know, 2K just dropped some news yesterday about NBA 2K24. They have officially released the schedule of which they're dropping content just like they did last year for 23's release now a lot of people are mad at the information that we got yesterday so i'm just put it on the screen so you can see it right here now as of august the 14th we will have gameplay with pro play that is in almost three weeks i do not know why they're going to wait almost three weeks to drop some news about it, some gameplay that we might play, we might not. It depends on if it's good, because y'all know how 2K is. They like to introduce stuff, and sometimes it don't even work. Well, half the time, people don't even use it. I mean, they really don't use it for real, for real. Now, on the week of August the 21st, they're dropping the W News, My NBA, and Mamba Moments. They should have been released Mamba Moments, if we're being honest. Last year around this time, we knew we, they had Michael Jordan challenges. They dropped a whole trailer probably like early July about the Michael Jordan challenges. I don't know why they're taking so long to drop that. I don't, I don't. Um, the, the way they really doing stuff is really weird this year. I'm not going to lie. The only thing they really been focusing on is crossplay. And that's even if crossplay really work if we're being for real. Just because they got it in the game. We all know how 2K servers are. Are the servers going to be good? Have they ever been good for us? Not really. So you mean to tell me everybody from both consoles on one server that y'all can't even get right? Y'all can't even get one server right. Y'all can't even get Xbox or PlayStation right. Some people still might lag on the East to West disconnect. If you don't know about that, if you're an East player, like you play on the East Coast and try to play with somebody on the West Coast, you might be delayed a little bit. I don't know if they fix that still, but y'all know with 2K, it's a whole bunch of other stuff for real, for real. And like, like I'm telling you, man. But let's get back into it. On the week of August the 28th, they're dropping my career news with the city and my team. Now, y'all know my career news always get us hype every year. It's my career. It's the most popular game mode in 2K. It's really the reason a lot of people started playing 2K. The my career, the Chris Moves, the QJBs, the Anto, the Boss, all the throwback dudes, you feel me? If you watch some of them, but everybody don't watch Chris Moves, though. That's the GOAT, you feel me? That's the GOAT right there. And then the final news that everybody did not like here. The week of September the 4th, we will be getting season one and more. Season one, seasons are coming back. Now, me personally, I really don't got no problem with season because it's just new content. You feel me? Now, what I think they should do about seasons, even though the rewards are trash, they're not lying. Seasons did kind of ruin the game, but they need to add better rewards to it and make the gameplay good. The gameplay decent, good. People don't want to play it, but. It all really depends on the gameplay because just because they got a good reward don't mean people gonna want to play a trash game that's laggy. Nobody's gonna want to play it. Like nobody. You can't think of nobody you know that's trying to play a laggy game that suck because you can't even really play online. And you gotta grind all the time. Now the season rewards they do get people interested every season just to see what they'll drop. But the rewards team on 2K is terrible. I don't know what they be doing in that office all day. But they need to do something. Like, like it's a lot of different stuff they could do. The community has a lot of good ideas that they drop and talk about. Basketball talk about a lot of it, too. I just don't understand. Like, rewards suck. Like, I do understand. I, I, I just don't. I understand when people say, why am I playing part and getting my team rewards for a game mode I don't really touch? I don't understand that either. Why, why, why am I getting a Russell Westbrook free agent card just for him, like, level 28? Why? 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 That's dumb. That's that's a whole nother game I'm not going to touch. You think I care about a Russell Westbrook card when y'all just dropped the end game with Like, are you, are you serious? You think I'm really caring about that? What, what I'm going to do with Russell Westbrook against one And Bobo. And Manute Bo. And end game team that they just dropped. And end game KD. What, what, and, and, and Jokic. What I'm going to do? What is Russell Westbrook going to do for me and my team? Nothing. That's a useless card. That's a useless reward. That is a useless waste of of a level it's dumb it's just stupid now i understand people want the ricky to legend reward rep system back yeah 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 they say that 
But did they really grind the game? Are they gonna really play the game if it's trash though and it's laggy? I don't know. But that's just how everybody, we, we all got different opinions, you feel me? We're all different in each of our own ways. We're all entitled to our own opinions. Me, I understand why people want it back. Do I want it back? I mean, I wouldn't really care for it back. I mean, as long as the rewards are decent and are worth the grind and the gameplay is decent and, like, I can stop stuff when I'm needed to stop stuff. As you can see in this clip, it's 2K20. Now, this game really wasn't that good to me. I'm just saying that it, this game, it had a lot of glitches that a lot of people don't remember that I still don't know why it's top three to some people. But hey, to each his own. But you can at least stop people. Like we're playing against a legend, even though he kind of run running and hop stepping everywhere across the world from Uganda, we can still stop it. And 20 and 23? Oh, you're not stopping that, be honest. Oh no, oh no, he's pushing you out the way. He's pushing you out the way. It's the small things in the game that made the game good. They gotta do stuff to make the game good and stop listening to bums. Now, recently, there was a Sun versus Comp thing. That little argument would whoop on Twitter. If you ain't see about it, I don't know how you ain't see about it. If you got Twitter, I mean, it's in people's videos, too. Statistics dropped a whole video on it. Y'all need to go check that out, too. But it's stuff like that. Like, you got bums talking to me like they good. You got bench players talking to me like they starting on the team. Like, you suck. The dude that was talking shot 42% from the three-point line and had a 38 win percentage. Do you know how crazy that is? And you talking like you good? You talking to me like you're good? You're crazy, bro. But it's just the small things they need to do to fix the game, to make sure the gameplay is good and is able to play the entire year. But yeah, man, that's really it for this video, man. You feel me? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new, man. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, and I'm out, man. Peace.